So uh, another project this weekend. Um, it's been raining a lot here. I had, um, I've got these skylights up in the roof. It's just a semi-translucent piece of plastic that they put in the roof to allow some sunlight to come in so that you don't have to use as many artificial lights. Uh, the problem I have with all the rain, we found out that there are two holes in the skylights. We patched the one and um, I got to patch the other one. Uh, it rained a lot. We got a lot of water inside the building. Um, I have to put plastic over some of my wood to keep it from getting ruined and rained on inside a building, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Shouldn't have to do that inside a building, but you do what you have to do and we're gonna take care of that today. Okay, so, so we've got, um, as seen on TV, we got some flex seal. We're gonna use that. I have to cut a little strip of it. <clears throat> We already patched one hole and it seemed to be working. So we, unfortunately there was another hole that I wasn't aware of. So we're gonna show you what we did with the first one. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna cut a rectangular piece of this. And then we've got this, I'm gonna have to come around there. I've got this PVC pipe. <clears throat> because I don't have a ladder that will reach the ceiling. Uh, we have to improvise. improvise. So what I did was I've got a piece of PVC pipe, 10 foot piece, and we put, whoa, I got an avalanche. <clears throat> we've got a, uh, we've got electrical tape on the end of it. And what we'll do is we'll just Squirt some uh, caulking, some silicone caulking on the end of it, and that will hold the flex seal tape. And we'll probably first we'll shoot some caulking up in the hole. And just put a big gob of it. And it's kind of tight. It's up against the uh, <clears throat> support structure, and it's right behind this light. So it's kind of a bad spot. And there we go. So that got that. Now I have to take the uh, <clears throat> protectant stuff off the flex seal tape. Not something I'm very good at. Here's something to come off. There we go. And because we still have some silicone caulking on this, <clears throat> That'll hold that in place. Yeah. Hopefully. Enough that <clears throat> I can get it up there and get it in place. <clears throat> so it's kind of a, almost like a circus act. But without a ladder, a long ladder, you, you do what you gotta do. push it up there some. <clears throat> we do have another redneck ingenuity kind of feature that we have to use in order to um, help get that applied properly. Okay, so this is a little tool that I've got uh, when I was making some countertops. It is uh, a roller to help adhere from mica to a uh, substrate. So what I found out is if I take this little rubber handle off like that, 
it'll fit right down inside this PVC pipe. And then I can push it and roll that flex seal tape in position better and make sure it gets good adherence. But this is even trickier than the other part. But uh, <clears throat> it's a little more forgiving. So we're just kind of push and shove it and try to get it pushed up as tight as we can all over the place. It's not easy. It's not really an easy thing to get uh, to get it up there in place. But I think that'll do the trick. <clears throat> and hopefully we won't have any more rain coming inside the building. So this is Doug, a.k.a. Commander Bacon with His Way Homestead. Don't forget his way is the best way.